Welcome to the Bidet Boys, the podcast that has a cleaner ass than you do. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's true. It's so true. <laughs> the Bidet Boys brought to you by Lux Bidets, Lux Bidets, right. LuxBidet.com with code yeah. name Bidet Boys. You can save 15% on your very own bidet. And they're they're really affordable bidets too. Um, they're not like these these overpriced uh, hello tushy or uh, I really like um, have some beef like the the bidet king dot com. Go fuck yourself. Don't even give us the time it's of day. A, it's like you know what it's like. It's like so you found the one that you want to be with for the rest of your life, but you still yeah. remember some of those yeah. ones. That it's like you know, but you don't remember them. And like I want to be with them. It's like man, you know what? You yeah. were missing out. Actually, yeah, I thought that, that you yeah. were right. I thought you were right because nobody was with me. But now yeah. I can now. see clearly. Yeah, that you were wrong, and I was my, right. That's my soul that's is how it feels. Holes. Yeah, our souls and, and our tushy, holes are in the right place. Right, and then with Lux Bidet, and Tushy didn't see what Lux Bidet clearly does. Yeah, and Lux Bidet also has like scented stuff. So like, like, I'm not even gonna call them by their actual name. I'm gonna start calling them Mushy. Mushy, you got it. Like we can't even say their name because then that's free promo. Dushy, yeah, I, I've heard that they like leave your your ass hella dirty. I don't want to like, yeah, they'd like your ass stay dirty with, with, with mushy. <laughs> D- Dushy doesn't like stolen. That's no. what I know. Yeah. That's what and I know. It's a great topic. For, we're, we're reviewing. Are we reviewing? Or are we just, I don't even know, probably dissecting, decimating, um, making somebody. I don't know that. I just like, I feel like we're watching and, you know, if you've seen it, awesome. You, maybe yeah. you can laugh with us, and if you haven't, maybe we can save you some time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like we're we're watching we're watching movies that I'm not even entirely sure that people would want to watch. But yeah. at the same time, I'm almost entirely sure you would want to watch the first two week pick. Yeah, so Blade Trinity is worth your time, and spoiler alert: Stolen's worth your time. Yeah, I got some fun facts on on, on this. So this director, like if from if you were to ask me who directed this, I'd be like, oh, nobody. Like this is just a one time director. They hired him for this and then he got fired. No. The guy that directed Con Air and Laura Croft Tomb Raider also directed Stolen. Yeah. He does a lot of action films, right? Yeah. Like blockbusters. Uh, yep. And this was not a blockbuster. Um this no. This no. movie <laughs> lost quite a lot of money. <laughs> uh, Thirty-five million dollar budget, eighteen million dollar profit. Pretty low. Uh, and, uh, no, uh, and then let's look at some ratings for this. IMDb is five point five out of ten. That seems like I think that was around the same as Blade had. Seems a little generous. I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's fair. Five point five seems a little low, man. I really? like Stolen. I you liked like it. it. I liked it. Okay, it's okay. It, it look. It is what it is. It knows what it yeah. is. It that's what it has stupid music for. It knows what yeah. it is. It's yeah. a silly like yeah hero and uh, a villain type of movie. Yeah. What is did what do you have for it? What kind of movie did you have for it? Like the, the yeah. classifications. I think it's like a like a thriller. Like, yeah, it wasn't that thrilling. I think it was trying to be. Thrilling. Yeah, I like it. I, I, this is what I heard. So I asked Alexa some questions about it, and she said that stolen was made as a uh, people trying to jump on the money train of Taken. Yes, that's what I originally thought. This is like a okay. Taken. Yeah, I even yeah, have a so, that said this is the this is the Taken seat. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. like, because Katie was like, "Is this what was made first? And then we looked it up, and then yeah, yeah Taken was made first, and Stolen was yeah. made after that. So, even the name is like a ripoff. <laughs> like, it's just, it's, it's like, <laughs> yeah, like try it all. Yeah, bikes get stolen. Like, like phones <laughs> get stolen. Like <laughs> people just get like, kidnapped. <laughs> the kid, the kid gets stolen in a car. Yeah. Tax ca- spoiler alert. All that. Yeah. We'll get to all that. But um, <laughs> but the favorite, my favorite thing that I found out about this, like IMDb has like a, a trivia section. 
this is i first off i can't back this up i've tried to to research this i can't find anything on the matter but there is a trivia fact that said nicholas cage had a scoliosis coach named chris elon for this movie like he gave his character scoliosis like he had he that's, that's what he chose that is the only amount of info that's the only information i can find on this is that Nicolas Cage had a scoliosis coach named Chris Elam. And Chris Elam is like a, a choreographer type person. So maybe, I, I don't know, but <laughs> it makes it like a little bit more interesting when you think that uh, Nick Cage's character has scoliosis, which is pretty impressive because he, he does do a little bit of, of action in this movie. Yeah, he ran full speed with bricks yeah. of gold, like bricks. Yeah. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Like <laughs> full speed towards a car. Like that doesn't make any sense actually, but it's all good. People with scoliosis good. can do that. Yeah. And uh that's that's really why we do this podcast. But um uh, just to give a heads up, so this movie, the people that own it, um, YouTube is very quick to take it down. So some scenes are sped up, some scenes have different music, and I'm gonna have this weird filter over top of it so that we don't get this taken down from YouTube. Real so, quick, before we yeah. start, my my first note doesn't even have to do it does, but it's first off, shout out to Daniel for picking a way shorter movie. You're the <laughs> Yeah, it was it was nice. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I feel like Blade Trinity might have been more fun. Yeah, no, it's a good time. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, but we'll this get this also has a wrestler in it. Yeah, wait. I think I saw I saw a wrestler in here. Okay, I'll we'll we'll see when we get there. Um, I'll look it up. But uh, um, we'll start off with this opening scene of the movie, and this kind of sets a tone for what we're gonna see here. And it's 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 kind of wild. There's like three separate parts that all lead into each other. We've got a man here who's defecating really drunk in New Orleans. And uh, <laughs> the FBI SWAT member who takes him is pulling him into a room where there's a, a dude who I've got notes on later that is just like, it's really like an operation or something and this dude just gets taken away we never see him again i think <clears throat> we, we could pause it whenever if you want to discuss anything oh, yeah, pause it. Okay. my my note for that whole scene with him was <laughs> katie would say that i sound like this drunk dude in general every day like just every single yeah. day big big singer big singer uh, also also huge singer you say it also uh is it illegal to piss on someone you didn't know was there that's interesting i think is that like manslaughter <laughs> like, no i mean there... like it's 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 illegal to piss in public i got that i yeah. got that but it's definitely more illegal to piss on a person so what yeah. i'm asking is is it illegal to piss on someone that you didn't even know was there i do i think that like so there's not like direct but i think there has to be like a manslaughter like law like you didn't mean to but you did um right so yeah i think it's probably not as high of a of you think it's a felony to piss on somebody a federal officer a for sure okay a okay. federal officer yeah yeah okay so this, dude, this dude's <laughs> going to jail it's, it's it's assault yeah he's gone yeah. <laughs> he's gone life's ruined can never That's get a job hard. again can you imagine having worse <laughs> luck than that like just happened to actually <laughs> piss where a SWAT operation is taking place. It was just trying to have a good night. It's like, right, guys, I'll kick yeah. back. Uh, 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 I'll, I'll catch a ride home. It's yeah. Just walking home and then, yeah. you know, I think that in there. this plays a theme throughout the movie of things that are way harder than they have to be or that, like, I'll, I'll discuss it later, but it's like something I've noticed. Like, in order to, like, make these scenes they kind of take their actual reality out of the story like they make things less real which if we're arguing reality with this movie then 
that's a different story. But I was like, wait a minute, you're saying they dramatize stuff in a movie? No way. <laughs> I'll, I'll, no way. I'll point out a little later what I mean, and it might make me sound less of a dumbass. But uh, <laughs> well, here's CCR. For those who don't know, I'm gonna talk over it because I, I wanted to get taken down. But um, we see a van, and there's the gate. Oh so, man. And he's just like digging it and he's going there and that sets the tone that he's like this old school dude that's just fucking like first of all that song could you i don't think i could ever get into that song the way he was getting into it well i have two notes about so okay. one i i absolutely hate music in the car with people yeah. other than my wife really like i it's just a, it's awkward like it's yeah. I don't there, every, everything doesn't feel agreeable. Like it feels like you can't yeah. select something that everybody likes, no matter what yeah. it is. Oh, sure and, sure. and like it feels like if you if you make one false move, you're that's four minutes. Yeah, you gotta sit through it. You can't change it. Yeah. And then so. Like, <laughs> and the next one was, go ahead. Like there's also the pressure of you're like, oh, this is a band I really like. So not only are you like listening but you're like trying to make sure like do they like it too are they gonna like what i like yeah yeah so i agree with you on also that. the next note i wrote was nick cage on this phone that you're about to play with his daughter yeah. is better acting than any single human <laughs> being could do in blade trinity yeah yeah just this one scene is better yeah. than any single person in that movie was capable of doing and I, this is a very short clip. I don't know if you realize how short this clip is, but it's, <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Go. Save the purple crayon for daddy. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> There's a longer conversation where it makes that that yeah. that makes sense. Like it just fits yeah. in there like a glove. Doesn't yeah. sound as wild as it does right there. Play it again. <laughs> I want, can we, can we like put open. that in the in our intro somehow? Yeah, post it. Yeah. <laughs> Save the purple crown for daddy, <laughs> daddy. and then check Wes. <laughs> we could definitely do that. So here we go Save again. The purple crown for daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh so much, but it does. It really does. I mean, that's the. I mean, oh, I clipped, like we didn't talk about it, but like I was like, this has to go into the podcast. Um, and then we get our um, our what is his name? Our um, Patton Oswalt character for this movie. Um, with this next, uh, with this next character we're about to meet, and it's a compilation of all the creepy things that he says, and it's all within like three minutes. Yeah. Blouse is open. Undoing the bra strap now. Fire alarms are down. Seismics are down. Killing the cameras now. Good to go when you pause. The proverbial hand is up the skirt. Head pa pause real yeah. quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My note is the mainframe has to be the weakest form of security to ever have existed on a computer. Right. How do all of these people get into it so frequently? Good day. Yes. I'm sorry. I just had to because it's always that we're doing something with the damn mainframe. <laughs> I don't even think there is a mainframe. I don't even know what it is. I think it's just like, like a like a, a universal film thing. And also, this is not somebody that I would ever want near a computer. This guy does or my, not. Or my daughter. Or my no. daughter. No. Most not. of my notes, just before we even get there, it's just it's really just my notes. One, two, three, five of these notes are just HR. Yeah. Yeah. HR. HR. Yeah. And then in, in, in the parentheses, like when he said the thing yeah <laughs> so you're We're, just gonna play all these My yeah notes are, hr yeah, <laughs> yeah. seismics are down killing the cameras now good to go when you are there's no way this hand good. is up the skirt and heading straight for the moose knuckle awesome that's why i love working with dudes for all the clever variations you can come up with for the word vagina hr <laughs> just the way that he says vagina <laughs> like it's a creepy dude. Vagina. Vagina. <laughs> <laughs> it 
It's a creepy dude. It's a very he plays creepy. a creepy dude really well. Yeah. Like I said, crush it. This cast is crushing Blade Trinity. They're doing it. it. They're doing it good. And uh I, I don't I don't blame them for, for anything that they're doing. Um yeah, this is when scoliosis ridden <laughs> Nicholas Cage grabs a bag that's gotta be worth like hundreds of pounds yeah. and just like fucking beelines it straight yeah. to a band that's not there anymore. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite part, one of the, like, there are, there's a lot of favorite parts for this, um, but it's coming up is just the absurdity of what happens to this man here with the trash. <laughs> so they do a heist. We forgot to say that they're successful, but the cops are on their way, so they got to get out of there. Hey, what are you young fellas doing? Come on! Oh. Just kept moving. Hold on, time out, time out, time out, time out. Okay. We're going to start maybe having like some kind of list because that right, that scene this is, all... is giving the vibes from Blade Trinity when she yeah. kicked that poor girl in the face. Yeah, there's just random. Neither that... of these people did anything. No, not at all. Um, in fact, he was he was asking if they were okay, Base. Hey, yeah, what are you guys doing? Like, yeah. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, my notes before this was when they were doing the robbery, which I don't know if we, we clipped that. I don't think we did. Oh, it's a. Yeah. Uh, one, there's a scene where the lock just pops out like a cork. Yeah. It, I don't know why, but it, it is so funny. It yeah. just I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> I was mean, giggling like a little girl. Like it was yeah. just so it like it but it should have it almost made, made the sound. So it was yep. great. Also, I don't think bank vaults and deposit boxes. I, I don't think a deposit box is in a bank vault. Because people know. gotta get in there every day. But I might yeah. be wrong. I, you're looking at a person that does not have a security deposit box. Like, do you Fair have enough. one? I mean, I don't. No, that's why I was kind you of curious. Because I, like, I mean, I think where they were trying to do is like yeah. the lower bank vault, like the main one. Yeah. And I think there's like an upper one where people can access that to get their deposit boxes and whatever they need. Yeah. But I think the lower one is like more for like storage of cash and assets and shit. Yeah. I thought. Yeah. But that's yeah. always just because I watch these dumb movies where they <laughs> rob stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that's the extent of my knowledge of things. Yeah. Uh, the the guy that's with him that just hit the man with the gun. There is also gold in the vault that'll come into play later. He gets real horny for that gold. Like yeah. he's like yeah. shaking the cage. He's like, oh, that's shiny, daddy. Like, like yeah. it's it's borderline like. And in his character, it makes sense later. But uh, but yeah, this dude gets punched. They argue on whether or not to kill them. Um, the dude gets shot in the leg. That's horny for gold. And now uh, Nicholas Cage. Oh, you have to hit him so hard. He is about to. He's on his own, so he's got to make an escape. And this is. The ride is gone. <laughs> Remix. <laughs> so he just like beats the crap out of a cop, uh, and I, I that's what I'm trying to win. Yeah, yeeted so, a bag of gold at him. That's not that's cash. Oh, that was cash in that bag. Yeah, he didn't take the gold. Oh, yeah. So that so makes was, way more sense. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. So, um, but yeah, he kind of like. Oh, another fun fact. Jason Statham was also up for this. I feel like if Jason Statham was this, it would be a good movie. Yeah, it would be a different movie. Like, it definitely wouldn't have scol scoliosis. Yeah, he's believable, though. Like, I would believe that this guy could do all these things. I don't believe that yeah. Nick Cage at this point in time in 2012 could do any of this. Oh, that's not fair. He can definitely uh, do that. Yeah. He so, um, he wants to. He's a vampire. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this next scene is like, uh, my note for this is like, I'm nervous as fuck in a parking garage. Like, I don't like driving in them. They make me anxious. You never know who's going to come around the corner, but Nick Cage. He's just like backing up, like fucking like doing all like, I would be terrified to do any of this, but he's over here just like, like. When he jumped over that shit, like my note right here was parkour. <laughs> like, <laughs> parkour. <laughs> parkour. 
his back has got to be so <laughs> fucked up after that too. Like, there's no way he's walking out of that um, standing straight up. Uh, maybe that's probably where you got scoliosis. Um, also, there was what was it? Uh, have we, uh, so from that scene, we didn't see it, but well, I mean, there's a million notes for that. It's yeah. number one. Why? Why would you literally fumble the bag in the last minute? Uh, uh, is there any reason to wait on somebody or if there's any reason to wait on somebody it's 10 million dollars for sure yeah uh this just became gta uh, yeah the most ran the most random spots for an ass load of trash cans <laughs> and this is the part that i thought was funny is when this cop's like god damn it fletcher like <laughs> that shit was hilarious man i died yeah. and, the, and the, 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 cops, the, the cops in this movie the cops are really having to put up uh Oh, do cops really? <laughs> Never mind. I don't remember that scene. Actually. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what I have here. So, I mean, I know what I have here, but I remember yeah. this scene now that I wrote it here. Yeah. Uh, so, spoiler alert, he gets caught. And this, we get introduced to the cop that's like his arch nemesis. Like his life's mission is to bring down Nick Cage, and he finally gets to do it. And boy, is he happy about it. My wedding day birth of my twins and now this pilot's will <laughs> oh that makes so much sense okay but, okay my note was do cops really put this type of stuff up there with love and giving life yeah they he did. said it was like over his kids yeah <laughs> like his <I> mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck bro <laughs> and then after that he just goes highlights Phil <laughs> he's like and, uh, <clears throat> but this cop is uh, hilarious talking highlights Cover. <laughs> highlights Phil fucking highlights <laughs> if, you, if you getting a known bank robber cop assailant and someone yeah. who just resisted a race uh, with yeah. your own car is up there with your wedding day and your kid's birth. It makes complete sense yeah. to me why your wife has left. Yeah. That's and confident we'll, writing. It's not yeah. that hard, is it, Blade Trinity? That was yeah. my note. This and this that'll make sense in this next very next scene. So he yeah. he gets out of jail. So first off, he was in jail for eight years. He kind of looked Fed like time. he kind of looked like shit when he went into jail. And he comes out Fed looking time. Exactly the same, wearing the exact. I mean, of course, he's wearing the exact same clothes, but he had just, federal time for yeah. that. Yeah, that was crazy. Eight well, years of federal time for a botched robbery. Yeah, and that seems still, excessive. Well, that dude, he's going to make sure that the book is thrown at him, isn't he? Imagine if your life's work was to take somebody down, and they only got eight years. That yeah, was, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, it's just like that explains why he's so pissed. But all of a sudden, the only thing that's changed over eight years is that he now wears a hat. That's the only difference <laughs> that I can tell is that this guy just now wears a hat, no matter the situation. It's like, it's like the John Mulaney joke where they're like, he uh, he wears glasses now to show that time has passed. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's what the hat does here. Um, so he gets out. Um, of jail they pick him up he picks up that bear for his daughter Watch. and they're going right to his daughter's house she's good i guess she left you four years ago i'm sorry you ought to be <laughs> Legit. Why? but Why not really his that? fault yeah. yeah not his fault at all but that's what i'm saying that's that's the thing that blade trinity could it yeah. do with Big Draco? There was a plot. He said, this is great. This is the best day of my life. This is better than when I married my wife and had children. Yeah. <laughs> better than all that. And then because of that, yeah, a normal, rational woman left his sorry ass. Yeah. So, of course, yeah. set his sorry ass up and left him. <laughs> so, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where As opposed to like, well, she's still with me. Why? Uh, she is. Yeah, she's proud of me. That's Blade Trinity. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so that's, um, that's why I say this this can't be on the same level. I get you. Yeah, yeah. 
So uh, he, he's he's meeting his daughter now for the first time. He was supposed to read her a book the night he got put away. So like he definitely like left her hanging, like going to get milk and cigarettes left and hanging. Um, and my note for this is he starts reading this note, and I my note is does he know how to read? Um, No one sets out to be a criminal, Allison, but through circumstances, bad choices, needs, unfor unforeseeable obstacles, unreliable friends, dishonesty, life intervenes. And I'm not trying to justify it. I'm not making excuses. For it does kind of sound like he's making excuses. Um, he yeah, he proceeds to make a yeah. shitload of excuses after that. I, like, that's a pretty shitty apology. <laughs> like... <laughs> He's like, here's all the reasons that what I did happened. Uh, it's not my fault. It's the circumstances fault. Like I picked some bad There's... friends. Ooh, uh, okay. I have a note right here. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> well, I don't know where, where this clip was. I guess it was before that for yeah. sure. But grandma Harley was for the streets. That's one note I have. Or, or uh, grandma Harlan was for the streets. Cause remember that guy used to say grandma Harlan used to say whatever, either way. The man's name was Harlan that he was talking about. Yeah. Uh, also, his daughter Allison wins the Chris Christopherson Award for acting yeah. the least so far in this cafe scene. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Like, if <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. So she doesn't like it. She has to go to therapy because of of him leaving because he she has abandonment issues, and so. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so this next scene, I don't know why it's in the movie, but it's in the movie and it's 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 pretty it's kind of creepy. Hey, thanks for the visual massage, Pete. Riley, you were just too damn fine, girl. You don't give me the time of day. Well, let me call your wife and see when you're available. Oh, well, you got to bring her up. Talk about a buzzkill. Never see that guy my again. Note, my note for that was HR, HR, pastor. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, like, what? Well, okay. And the other thing is, why do criminals, why would a criminal feel comfortable in a cop bar? That was wild. That was a good idea, though, but it was yeah, wild. She's changing. She's running over a new leaf. Um, so Nick Cage meets this lady who was. If you couldn't tell, it's the same lady from the first scene without the beanie on. Um, yeah. And yeah. Um, and then they kind of reconnect. He's, she's like, oh, I've, I've, um, I love, he says something. He's like, I don't want to go wrong again. Like, that's how he talks about like, like being a criminal. It's like, I don't want to go wrong. And that just seems like the dumbest way. Like, like naming a movie stolen. Like, it's like, yeah, it's kind of accurate, but it's fucking dumb. <laughs> it's a dumb way to it say was, that. Yeah. I, yeah. This movie was definitely like, there was, like you said, Jason Statham could have been an act. There's a lot of things that they could have done to save this movie. Yeah. That's a fun, like, uh, but outside of that, I would say up until this point, I've really enjoyed the movie. Yeah, like, I, I, yeah, yeah. It's, I'm into it so far. It's later where I'm kind of like, all right, this is getting a little campy. Yeah, but yeah. It's just like a little too much, a little too much. But then there's a there's there's a guy we'll get to him. We'll get to him uh, with the taxi. I saw. Yep. Uh, so next we have. Um, the stole I, I wrote this down as the Nicholas Cage's taken scene. So like uh, I have a certain set of skills like Liam Neeson in the taken movies. This is the um, that moment for this movie. <laughs> well, hallelujah, man, you're alive. Shit, you know what? Thing. Everybody's telling me you're dead. Uh, I suppose that depends on your interpretation of the word dead. Um, not living. <laughs> well, where are you? Can we meet? How are you? The years you've been gone have not been kind to me. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry to hear, hear about that. You listen to me, gum. 
I have waited eight years for this. Go ahead. I had to change my name, erase everything. Isn't there that little matter of the bullet in my leg, a constant friendly reminder of the partner who ruined my life that night? I'm a cab driver now. My fare is this Everybody sweet little girl trying to get to her shrink's office so she can discuss her daddy issues and how they have manifested into an unhealthy disdain for the world at large. Hey, what are you doing? You touch her and I'll take you down the levee and kick your fucking Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, so I oh, did not, like I said, I did change the speed of some of these scenes and as a result... I love uh, that. I love, I'd rather watch yeah. the movie like that, though. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? It's great. There's a video... Also, the funniest part is, is hey, how are you? It, like yeah. he's literally coughing up a fucking lung. Yeah, yeah, he's like in, you know, like he's not doing well. Not it's, at all, not at all. Um, but at least he's alive. Um, I guess <laughs> there's a video on YouTube, and it is um, the B movie. But every time they say the word B, it, the movie gets sped up. So it's the whole movie, but every time somebody says B, it like doubles in speed until it's just, I don't know. Look, look it up if you want to. But um, <laughs> this next scene, movie. the B movie, maybe we'll do that one. Uh, this next scene just goes to further show that I don't think Nick Cage actually has scoliosis. Oh, my note before we even start here is uh, what's the capital of Thailand? They, oh. <laughs> oh, they just like a criminal mastermind. Criminal mastermind. I share this belief because criminal masterminds don't go away for eight years old. So do they? <laughs> <laughs> These scenes are much better sped up. <laughs> Imagine having FBI uh, FBI agents try to arrest you for simply running. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, and, uh, yeah. He, oh no! Like, that, at that point, at that point, he was he was definitely he needed to be arrested. That was fine. I got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Before yeah. they were just like he was running, and they were just running after him just because he was running at first. Yeah, and I was like that doesn't make so, a lot of sense. So he shows up to talk to the cop that originally arrested him. It's like, hey, this dude has my daughter. What are you gonna do about it? He's like, I think you're lying. I think you're trying to to distract us because they're they think that he has the money and they're trying to figure out like that and, and how to get it back so that's why he's at the fbi um and then he goes and gets the records for this next clip i just have crazy cabby so uh, i don't really remember what it is but I, I... <laughs> no it's the guy it's, <laughs> i love oh, this, this guy this dude is just oh, is it him no yeah it's not oh, that guy I okay, okay. This, yeah. this is just him being unhinged like unhinged for no reason Exactly the woman I want to see close that tight. The only thing with any balls to come to this town was the hurricane. <laughs> Just the way he really? says the hurricane. It sounded like he was like finishing a rap. Like he's like, I'll be doing this shit because I'm the hurricane. Like it seemed like he was finishing a bar, but he wasn't. <laughs> We like people have to watch this movie because these are yeah. like I I was just watching all the random ancillary moments and just having yeah. like so total nostalgia. Like one of these notes I have ah <laughs> oh, I love a good mall kiosk, big kiosk guy. Yeah. Oh, so another note that I had. So Nick Cage like goes to like he's on this computer. Like eight years is a long time. Technology is very different. And how is he knowing how to like forward a call on a BlackBerry? Like, how is how does yeah, he know how to do fast. any of this? like fast too? Like, yeah, quickly. Yeah, like it's like I don't know. Like he like hacked into a computer. Like there's no way that computers in 2004, when Blade Trinity came out, were what's that? It's the mainframe. Yeah, it's the mainframe. It's just super easy. I guess so, like yeah. <laughs> This is just a world where electronics are super easy. Yeah, that was a note I had that didn't seem. Well, um, oh, there's also what, before the way she got in this car, like he showed uh, or they showed how he made this whole soundproof trunk or whatever. Uh -huh. My note was, yeah. uh, uh, if I wasn't so tall, I would definitely try this trunk shit with some mushes. <laughs> <laughs> 
My not like thing. what he's doing where I'm carrying yeah. people around. Like I would go sit, I'd be in the trunk. That'd be cool. <laughs> My note was give me a couple hours. Yeah. So he kidnaps her and then he insulates the trunk so nobody can hear her. My note was why didn't he do this before? Like he knew he was gonna do this. Right. Why didn't why didn't he already have this ready? Um He's unhinged. He's That's what the hair is supposed dude. to tell you too. The <laughs> hair is supposed to tell you he's unhinged. The band aids. Like I, yeah. I I find it hard to believe that somebody that looks like that would take the time to use a band aid. Or let like just sit down and let somebody put one on him. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. It's but, it's very oh, weird. Talk, that's what it was. My note for those guys and it was talking shit in elevators is a very dangerous game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was from back when the guys got smashed on. Yeah, yeah. That was great. Oh, yeah. I, and people throwing beads at a girl screaming for help is absolutely diabolical. Yeah, yeah. I don't know is, if we're going to show that. No, no, we're not. <laughs> like, that's, I don't know if that's on par for Mardi Gras or what. This is also happening during Mardi Gras. This is like a very mm-hmm. big point is that this is taking place on Fat Tuesday, which I don't know exactly yeah. what it is. But it, it it takes place in like the busiest time in New Orleans, which is where this takes place. Um, this next scene, so he he gets the information for the pervy dude. He goes to his house. If you hear this sound, somebody's getting their ass kicked. You know that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was great. So now here he is. Do you have any notes on that? Yeah. Uh, the historic exposition in the form of some sort of psychotic break is mildly uh, entertaining and yeah. interesting and mostly informative. Yeah, it was nice. It was kind of telling. <laughs> I was like, that's an interesting yeah. interpretation. Yeah, yeah. He, this, maybe this dude's not wrong. <laughs> maybe he, de- he definitely he definitely stuck the landing. Yeah. That you yeah. just so casually dismiss as he just whoops someone's ass is that's <laughs> he stuck the landing. Yeah. I made he, t- t- 10 point, 9.8. 9.8 out of 10. Yeah. Um, so here here we are. Um, Nick Cage is trying to figure out where this guy in the taxi is. So he assumes that a uh, big boy's working with him. Uh, this is a quick part of the scene. And that's my gun. Drop the bag. My note here was that's a really bloody nose. <laughs> yeah. The like, sound <laughs> of blood is so funny to me. Like, the, yeah. like blood would sound like that. If it know. would like it just it sounds like somebody's water just broke like right. that's what but right. like yeah like definitely i don't think a nose would bleed that fast that much like everywhere but but i digress he just he just punched a pregnant man <laughs> <laughs> that's for the last eight years so that's for the last eight years so here's the cop even wearing the hat during like important moments in the movie. Oh yeah, yeah, bolo'd up. Yeah, it's it's wild. Uh- <laughs> oh god, looks great. We're having a, a standoff with the cage and the dude. Where the cops are. He died. Wow. They, just, they kill him immediately. They're like, yeah. Yeah, like, like again, bro. This is yet another movie where the cops do not announce their presence and no, they just start fucking shooting. They like, shoot. yo, that's wild. Yeah. That's yeah. so wild to me. Yeah. Like the yeah. this this era of cops and movies, like yeah. it's the wild west. It is the wild west. They just fucking murder <laughs> dude with a hat on. Can you imagine yeah, for real? <laughs> having that hat on? And have just a family, cool. like yeah, like man, damn, yeah. dude. Oh, he's oh, taking a Johnny Cochran and Ben Crump standing next to your widow, just like man, these yeah. motherfuckers is like <laughs> the rat pack. Uh, so he oh, jumps yeah. off the roof here and gets stuck. Um, but yeah, so he goes and tries to find that information. He gets enough to know that he's a cabbie. Um, yeah, this guy, who that is. I love uh, this. We're guy. almost, we're almost there. 
that is my favorite person in this movie. Um, this is I, I really don't Who's remember. Over for a I don't even life. know who he's trying to be. Yeah. Help! Reminds me of my father was dying of bone cancer. All day he'd bitch about the nick he'd gotten in his chin from shaving that morning. I know what you're thinking. Why would a dying man shave? See, like no, this exposition is unnecessary. I wasn't thinking that at all. <laughs> get this vehicle back to the barn. It's get extremely that unnecessary. Yeah. We can talk he about also, anything else. He also ends up murdering this cop. No, I, yeah, but I'm saying like, yeah, there are top like for instance in this movie where I'm saying that you can save it. That's an opportunity yeah. to talk about some shit that matters. Instead, yeah. he starts talking about like. A family father, member that yeah. you doesn't pertain. It's just father. Yeah. It's 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 yeah. father talk. It's like I'm gonna talk about my dad. The you. reason that you're crazy is because <laughs> you got you lost your leg and your life got ruined. Like we don't have to add anymore. Like we get it. Um, Daddy issue talk. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this next scene. This is my favorite character in the entire movie. Mm. Um, just a little bit more nice. Nice. Come here, sweetie. You know, the FBI, they use these little lines in order to find people. Well, that's how they were looking for me anyway. But one day I came up with a plan. Yeah, I dug up a body, see? It wasn't hard. Resemblance was reasonable. Then I cut him up into small pieces and added a little of myself to the mix. I was a golden boy, dollface. Now I'm a freaking Picasso. <laughs> uh. and don't ever mess with my lights again. He also puts, like, I don't know if you ever had them on your ceiling as a kid. The um, the stars that like glow in the dark. Yeah. He has yeah. those on That's in there. Sold for, like, yeah, he's like, I'm gonna make it That's a little like, yeah. right. Yeah, little mushies, little stars, yeah. good yeah. to go. My note for this was, if uh, <laughs> my note for this, sorry, that was a bug. Uh, my <laughs> note for this was uh, when I get older and stop doing commentary these will be some of the things i say to katie though not in this manner <laughs> i used to be the golden boy <laughs> and now i'm a fucking picasso <laughs> oh like my mind in these scenarios goes to a writing room where somebody wrote these lines and thought it was like like this is gonna fucking make the scene I honestly, some of that, I think, like he, like for instance, he just they let him ad lib that. There was he was just talking. He was just talking about his career, just <laughs> in general. I used to be the golden boy, fucking <laughs> Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a, a bit I want to do real quick. Hold on one second for me. So, and talks about like the writing room. We had uh, Papa John's for dinner tonight, and <laughs> um, this is the, what's on the box. I don't know if you can see it. It says, better ingredients, better pizza, better get you some. <laughs> and what? while that's, that's whatever, my mind just goes to the pitch meeting where somebody said that and then everybody's like, that's the fucking one. That's the fucking one. That's good. We're going to sell so many pizzas. It's um, all millennials in there now. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. based. Like, Better give you some. <laughs> yeah, man, that's fucking. <laughs> uh, that's fucking base, dude. That's, that's sick as fuck, sick, bro. Sick as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's All how right. you use it. Not yeah. to describe a, a murder, yeah. cr a murderer's crimes. No, you do it to describe a slogan for Papa John's. This next scene, is this next character, my fucking favorite character that we've covered so far on this podcast. I think I could probably say I had to put on a biohazard suit, hip waders, and rubber gloves, and I got the garden hoe and scraped that crap out there. Looked like boogers. Jalapeno jelly, <laughs> bad home. I got a question for you. Jalapeno <laughs> jelly. <laughs> this guy, like, bro. This guy. So Nick Cage, kid, like he hijacks a cab because he's trying to find this dude. So he's making this cab driver at gunpoint call his dispatcher to find out information about him. And uh, the dispatcher is just a fucking treat. Nine inches and can reload after 14 minutes and a tickle. What else do you want to know? <laughs> Nine inches 
and can reload in 14 minutes with a tickle. What else do you want to know? <laughs> but you won't know that for. <laughs> <laughs> so it is an idiot the whole time. Oh, my note for that was HR. 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 <laughs> H yeah. mother fucking R. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait. Are you saying that this creepy limping bastard be running around snitching my dough? <laughs> That's my favorite line. <laughs> It's just Nietzsche. the seriousness. Yeah. It's the serious face. Like his face is just. Yeah. So it's perfect. Yeah. But the phrase sneech in my dough. Yeah. I fucking love that so much. I, also, I don't know who he's trying. Like. These these guys get these roles and just go yeah. crazy with them. Like, how, why is he like this? How did he get like <laughs> this? Dude, what is know, going on? You know, there's a backstory he's written for this character. Yeah. There's a reason like, he's yeah. like. He he watched the Water Boy, and he liked <laughs> Rod. He liked he liked that one guy's character. Uh, Coach, <laughs> no Rob Rob Schneider's character. Oh like, yeah, oh, yeah. No, we suck again. <laughs> that guy. He yeah. wanted to be him. Yeah, uh, Sneech in my dough. I I love Sneech that. Sneech in my dough. Yeah. Looky <laughs> here. Did you just turn white on me all of a sudden? <laughs> Who that is? <laughs> oh yeah this dude's my there's also is there is the next scene the taxis uh him yeah. running yeah yeah i yeah yeah who that is <laughs> and i love the parallel that i'm sure they're trying to paint here of these tap dancers and then him also tapping right My That's note so for that was LOL, all the insurance claims for all yeah. of those damn cars. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I still oh, don't know where the scoliosis coach is coming in here. I have no idea. But, but yeah, tap dancing, um, that cinema, I don't think it gets better than that if you ask me. Uh, this yeah. next clip... I just, I just labeled it sassy cop. Do you have any more notes on this scene? Uh, no, just the next one for sure, though. Now, you've got to listen to me. No, we don't. <laughs> if I were coming back from the dead, it wouldn't be for daughter killer. It'd be to go to Rick's cabaret to see some naked ladies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just there's, a part, there's, there's a part. I don't know if we how far we i forgot how far we went into that scene that's it but there's a <laughs> what happens to them when he goes to get this phone is like low-key what i hope happens every time the police talk shit in a hostage scene yeah. like where they have the or, or not hostage uh, the uh, villain scene where they have the bad guy so like in the movies they'll have the joker in the back seat and they're just talking shit to him yeah it would be great if the joker just finally won one time, yeah. just once, yeah. just once. Sometimes I like the bad guys to win. Have you seen the Lego Batman movie? <clears throat> oh, maybe that's it's, what we should do. It's it's really good, actually. I don't think it would qualify to be on here. Like it's, yeah, it's actually <laughs> very, it's it's art. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, and then yeah, he he dislocated the dude. So, uh, lol, oh, yeah. casual relocation of bones. Yeah, yeah. He so he broke his. Uh, thumbs which is like a, i don't know if that's real but it, it is a movie it's just like the mainframe and he escapes the handcuffs then he attacks him and grabs the phone because the the plot is if the phone goes to eight rings when a uh, cabby dude calls him then he kills his daughter yeah. so he had yeah. to break his thumbs to get out to get there so that's why he did that and then um this next scene is something that i also don't know why it's in the movie but it is I already told you this isn't my life anymore. I know. I know. And it's not yours either. He's going to kill her. I can, I can hear it in his voice. 
just more great uh he's not even the, he's not the same person I, he, he's going to kill my little girl just like i don't is that good acting him yeah right there no but yeah. overall throughout the movie yeah but right there yeah yeah but uh, my, my note for that was holy shit are they russian sleeper agents <laughs> It's just so weird that they like that was like. like also, how how drunk are these people on the float that they don't even mind this man just catching a ride? Yeah, he was just on the on the float, <laughs> just like hiding from the cops. Like, yeah. Also, prior to that, when the other cops pull up to yeah. uh, uh to help the other ones that just got the shit beat out of them, they start like immediately dictating stuff and the guys that just got the shit beat out of them and i'm like dude yeah. there's no chance that i'm going to listen to the cops that yeah. just lost the dude yeah. other than to tell me where they saw him go <laughs> you can't run shit here like yeah, there, there's not. none of that like hey you're, that way you're getting a demotion that's it. yeah <laughs> that way yeah that's all i need I don't yeah. need any more of this shit. You're not in charge anymore. You lost. That's not the next cool. time I see you, you're going to be writing parking tickets. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, so this next scene is a little reprise from our uh, cab dispatcher friend. At Tuesday, everybody go crazy. That was it. I just I wanted to include as much of him in this as possible. That's the only other line we have for him. Um, yeah, he is. That might be my favorite. Um, so we've got some catching up to do for people because I, I didn't clip um, anything in this. So he talks on the phone. He said, you better get the money. He said, I don't have the money. He's like, that's not my problem. Like, you've got so-and-so amount of time to do this. Um, and this is kind of a, a scene where I've kind of thought about where after this scene, we'll talk. But so he he does the heist again. He's been planning it for like eight years to get enough gold to um get his daughter back he's over here he's got like a heating port he's melting the gold in the vaults it's just turning into water or hitting the water it's becoming hot so that's how he's getting the money and my thought process was how much do you care about your daughter? Because you could have done this right away and given him the $10 million and gotten your daughter back. Well, no. it was very easy like, for him to get that gold. Like so easy. Yeah, but he did, but he didn't want to, he I know, didn't want like, to do that anymore. but he's, he wanted to try to do everything he possibly could. Like, that's the point. He like, he went to the, he tried to do the right thing. Yeah, the last effort. He was like, "Fuck it, I'll do it." Like, is doing the right thing I can do than getting your daughter back. Well, I mean, is paying your bills more like? I mean, you know, like. Yeah, I guess it'd be more like. Like, do people people sell drugs to pay bills, which probably shouldn't, right? But sometimes that's what people are good at. So I mean. I don't know. I think it's kind of like that. Like that's what he's good at, but he doesn't want to do it that way because he doesn't want to go back to jail. Like he doesn't There's want to do that. To paying be. your bills and saving your daughter's life. Like the stakes are a little higher here. I, I think they're one and the same. If your daughter lives with you, well, you daughter, have to pay those bills. I don't know. Like, <laughs> my I just I think <laughs> that no take it though. No take it. If it were if it I were. I could, I could see it, but I just don't. I don't. I think he just didn't want to go back to doing it. He just yeah. want to stay. He didn't out want to be again. Yeah. yeah. Um. But, so he gets old. Oh, my yeah. note for uh, him when he was talking about uh, it's not my problem, whatever. Uh, those extensions are doing too much. <laughs> those extensions are, are a lot, man. My God. Yeah. His hair. Yeah. 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 No, those are extensions. Those yeah, are for sure extensions. Yeah, because this dude's not method enough to actually grow his hair out like that. No, not at all. No, I didn't have enough time. Yeah. Um. Do you? This is kind of a side story, but did you hear about the story where um, 
uh, Nicholas Cage has this like rare dinosaur skull that he had to give back because it turns out that it was like stolen from another country. I actually did hear about that. I think, yeah. but I don't remember if it was like in a movie or no, it was real life. in an article. No, yeah. I mean, like he has a movie where he plays himself. Oh no, it's, it's not that one. Movie. Yeah, yeah, okay. that's a really good movie. Yeah, no, it's it's real life. But yeah, so he's got the gold. Now he's going to rescue his daughter, and he's talking to the guy on the phone as he's on his way. This is just a, sh- a sh- snort snippet, um, schnitchen my dough of of a conversation that happens. I am impressed. Do this in a little credence before you win it. No, I didn't listen to CCR. That didn't work out so well the last time, did it? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, acting his ass off. <laughs> he was like, That's "Great, yeah, <laughs> great." Look at. No, I didn't listen to CCR. That didn't work out so well the last time, did it? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> that is an angry man who has had enough of a one-legged man's shenanigans. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's over his shit. Yeah, he's over his shit. Uh, um, but yeah, so this next scene is so they they get there. And just like the psycho this guy is, he he gets the money, but he's like, nah, everybody's fucking dying. So he like tries to light the car on fire while his, while his daughter is in it. And uh, they do a fight, and this is the fight scene sped up with music. Uh, you destroy the only thing I ever truly loved. Me. <laughs> It's the gas can. Is that like a road there? No, no, road there. Shoots him. This music is great. <laughs> this is so funny. Like they're struggling now. The cabin. It fire. basically was like this though. There would yeah. be these random, yeah, mount, mounts of music. The same music. Yeah. Please. Trying to. Fighting. Gets the car, falls on fire, all blows on fire, getting burned alive, and it's flat. I'm just assuming it's him. Now watch him. Uh, he gets the car. That was hilarious. <laughs> that was a great part. Yeah. Like, this... And then the gauge drives, <laughs> car is on fire, and into the water. Car, car into lake. My note is car into the lake. Classic Nick Cage logic. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Let's not try to open. Let's pop. Press the button that opens the trunk. Um, bro, bro, bro just got, uh, bro just got smacked, stabbed, and set on fire, and still whooped this dude's ass. <laughs> goat, absolute goat. Uh, <laughs> my note for this team is like, so this is Nick Cage dying, um, but my note is kind of seems like he's coming, doesn't it? <sighs> also. No, I, I remember what you're doing now. Yeah. <laughs> it's after this part anyway. It's okay. Okay. I forgot about this part. No, 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 but is. It, the when he do we have the one where he walks up through the fire? Uh, no. Okay, it doesn't matter. My note for that one was, it, <laughs> "Lo, a lot of L's with the leg." He reminds me of Robot Chick. <laughs> <laughs> also. No chance you're lifting a trunk from underwater, Nick Cage or not. Yeah. And wait, wait. wait. Your daughter. <laughs> and wait, I thought they weren't killers. Did he just violate his own stupid code? <laughs> 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 and also, the daughter screaming help in the middle of nowhere and receiving yeah. it when the help yeah. is already there to begin with, only yeah. in the movies. Only in the movies. So the cops and come. also just. Just a shit, a shit note here, just like a dark humor note. Cause like, what if he died in transit? It would be so realistic. 
I feel like this movie would be better if he died in transit. Um, <laughs> it was like the most fucked up note I just thought about. I was like, yeah. what if he just died in transit? They just yeah. wrapped it up like that. Oh, some real shit. It's like, don't do the crime if you don't do the crime if you don't want to do the time. <laughs> this is just a big dare campaign. <laughs> and she's asking them, like, save him. They're not doctors. They're really yeah. shitty cops. That's my yeah. Yeah. Somebody help us! And she just took that potential yeah. death surprisingly well. Yeah. So and I okay. This part after this, I have my final note, and and okay. I'm so glad now that I know. Like, I knew you'd tell me without me having to ask, and and yeah. you did. I appreciate it. Go ahead. Yeah. So uh, he finds one piece of gold in the truck, and. Um, they're yeah. debating on whether or not he wants to go wrong and keep the gold or he wants to throw it. And this scene is like a will he, won't he with the gold and it's quality acting. He's not going to throw it. He just might. And if he does, you ain't got Jack. Don't throw it. Throw it. Don't do it. Do it. <laughs> throw it. Don't do it. Do it. Throw it. Don't do it. Throw it. No, 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 no. Do it. Hut. Sure, yeah. Keep it. Sell it. Get rich, and then go back to jail. Okay. The forehead is massive. Going in. Yeah. This is the last scene. Yeah. And then it okay. To pause it. Pause it right there. Do you want to? Okay. See, there's the last part where you see that the pine cone is in the water. Right, but. The, the part before that, just like where you, you what you see oh. on the table. It's okay, though. It, yeah, go ahead. And then pause it right there. Okay, so I'm watching this in here. On yeah. The big screen. And from here, for some reason, in my notes, I, I thought this, I didn't, I didn't put together that this was the gold. Uh -huh. Honest to God. I thought he was bullshitting the cops no matter what he threw. Yeah, I thought that was the the thing. I was like, "Well, he's going back because he just bullshitted them, regardless. He just played with them, basically." And my note is, he did all this for a fucking sponge, because <laughs> I thought that shit was a sponge, and it's uh -oh. just gold. And yeah. It, see, I'm telling, like, I watch it, but like, I'm sitting here. There's so much going on. Yeah. Trying to figure out like why this taxi cab driver is talking like this and other shit, and I yeah. just get like it gets lost in the fact that like oh that's not a sponge at all, it's golden brick. Yes, and I thought this was going to be he was going to throw the gold and there was going to be somebody like scuba diving to grab it and swim back, and then but th that the way they did it is fine too. Also, there's no way that they wouldn't be able to tell that that was a pine cone. Weights are totally different. It's going to hit the top of the water and it's going to fucking float like. Right, right. Yeah. So, um, I feel like overall, this is like one movie trying to be several different types of movie, and I don't know that it always goes together. Like, this is a happy-go-lucky comedy scene, but then yeah. there's also the scenes where he's like, ah, "I'm gonna fucking kill this girl," and like, "Oh, I'm so crazy," and it's like it doesn't always go together, and it seems like you're jumping from different types of movies. Yeah, it it tries to be. I think it more wants to be like a cult classic type of deal. Yeah. I think like something like that. I think a lot of his movies are trying to do that. Like they're trying yeah. to just build a cult following and they always do because we're all following him. Yeah. But, uh, but the main point is <clears throat> for this movie, would you watch it again? No. And you wouldn't. I don't think I would. Okay, cool. I feel better. I would. I you would. wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I, I would but I will say this as somebody who hasn't who never saw it, yeah, like like I told you about that first hour, super into it. I thought I was yeah. like, oh yeah, I mean this is a favorite new favorite Nicolas Cage movie. And then yeah. it started getting like, oh, that's a little fucking weird. That's yeah, it gets real. that doesn't yeah. make sense. Like those type of yeah. things. And it's it, they can't, it's like they all the movies that we've so far, the two we reviewed, yeah, like they take off, yeah decent they can they can fly but they just n nosedive right into the landing yeah and like writing a movie is hard i like, guess not yeah. easy 
Like I've written yeah. stuff before and it's really hard to write the ending or to write the beginning. And then you realize when you try to wrap things up that like, fuck, I have no idea what I'm doing. So For sure. I, I, they also get into the situation. Now how it fucking gets through the amount of people that movies have to get through to, to pass. Right. Uh, that is part. astonishing sometimes, <laughs> but <laughs> that part, like Here that's, that's a concerted effort to like, no, we, we all believe in this concerted piece of shit. Yeah. How like many eyes went on this and didn't say anything? Not yeah. a word. Yeah. Not a word. I, I, whatever. I mean, yeah. it's, I, 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 I wouldn't, this is like, a, I feel like this is a, a on the plane free movie. Yeah. I'd pay attention to. I feel like Blade is like that. So far, we've picked two movies that I would watch on a trip somewhere if that yeah. was a free option for sure. Yeah, I've got a question. Is there a point yeah. where we do a, a Tubi movie? If you have one, you can do it right now. No, I, I don't have one Cause, right now. Because but... otherwise, we're going to... Katie has a... Uh, she has a selection. She says uh, Santa's Sleigh. Uh-huh. It's on Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know if you had that. Because I was going to say, if you don't, that's really shitty because you're going to make Dan have to rent something for $4. I have Amazon Prime. But yeah, I'm okay. definitely down to do that one at some point. All right. Thank you guys so much for listening. And uh, Roberto, have a good night, man. Also, stay tuned. Next week, Paul Blart, Mall Cop 2. Dose. We're doing Paul Blart, Mall Cop 2. Yeah. This is going to be fun. It's going to be very fun. We play our like and subscribe. Smash that like button.